Okay, the new wheels are on the RS5. Let's show you the new, the newly styled Lamborghini Gallardo. Okay, let's do this. I'm absolutely sick to death now of seeing unfinished cars inside the unit. And one car that I've been neglecting is the twin turbo Lamborghini Gallardo. So a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was about a month ago now, I decided to wrap my Lamborghini Gallardo to protect the paint during winter time. And instead of wrapping it just one colour, I decided to go with a crazy design with the half white camo and the half black camo separated. This is a new addition with the orange stripe going straight down the middle. Now the regular subscribers will know that I've wrapped a few cars now, but this one has definitely been the most challenging. One, because it's all patterned up and you've got to line it all. And two, well, it's a Lamborghini. So I did call in Emily and Lewis from Shieldworks to come and help me and this is as far as we got. But since you guys have been gone, Emily and Lewis have came back and they've smashed out the dark side of the wrap. Well, almost all of it. We've still got the door handles, we've still got the inlays on this side. I've still got the wing mirrors, the front bumper, the rear boot lid, this little piece. And also, I think I've got a really cool idea with the rear bumper. So a huge shout out to Emily and Lewis, but we've still got a long way to go and I'm sick of seeing it unfinished and with no door cards on in the interior because the wing mirrors are off. So let's get this inside the unit and let's finish this wrap off and finally get it back on the road. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me throughout this whole voiceover because my voice is hanging on by one thread. But first thing I've got to wrap is the front bumper. So I've got to remove the front arch lining and all the little trims like the grills inside the bumper. Then with a little help from Baz, we should be able to stretch the whole one piece of wrap over the front bumper. Then it's just a case of trimming it and heating it to push it into the little recesses on the bumper. Okay, this is looking so much better already with the bumper, well, nearly wrapped. We've still got a few more bits to go on, a few more inlays as well, which you've got to go on to match up all the stripes and the zigzags as well. But that is looking so much better. But in a swift turn of events, Wheelmania have just called us to say that Hannah's wheels are ready for the RS5. Okay, yes, in this video, you're getting a double whammy. If you've not been watching the RS5 videos, click in the top right-hand corner now. But this is Hannah's RS5. The build is, I'd say, nearly complete. It needs some alloys. These are the standard Audi rotor alloys that come on the RS5. Yes, they look nice, but we're all about making it a little I'm bit different. Okay, so these alloys, I am not taking the blame because you'll pick them. You blame? Well, we, we joint pick them, but the colour, I know a lot of you are going to, you, you're going to get triggered. You're going to get triggered on the, I didn't choose the colour, Hannah chose the colour of these alloys. Now moving back to the colour of the alloys, Hannah had in mind a sort of colour that she wants to do the car. Now we was meant to do the colour of the car first and then get the alloys, but the car's not been done yet, so I, I don't know. The, apparently it's my fault. We're about to see, well, you guys gotta let us know what you think. Enough rambling, you guys need to see the wheels. And here they are. Yes, they're satin black, not a colour, well, I, I'm, I'm sort of going off black wheels, but you like them, eh? Just, you gotta wait for the colour of the car first. We gotta wait for the colour of the car, but sat in black, let us guys know in the comment section below, what do you think of the new alloys? These are Japan, 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 <laughs> these are Japan racing wheels, the same alloys, well, the same make of alloys that I had on the BMW M4, 20 inch, of course, the offset is more aggressive and the width is more aggressive. We need to fit these to the car, and then you guys can see the fitment, along with the black on black look, it's gonna be a more murdered look murdered. for her. <laughs> so with the new wheels being a way more of an aggressive fitment, we can finally say goodbye to the wheel spacers and of course the old curbed up Audi rotor alloys. And say hello to a brand new website built using Squarespace. 
If your website's about as good as my voice right now, then it sounds like you need Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your business. By the time Hannah worked out how to open and start the Mark II Golf, I would have built a nice looking homepage using Squarespace. Let's go. So first things first, I'm straight onto squarespace.com and we can start off by using a template. There's hundreds of templates to choose from. I'm gonna start by using this one. Then we can go in and edit the template. It's as simple as dragging and drop your own logos in there, just like this, and dragging and drop your own photos in there, just like this. I can edit the photos and I can also edit any text on the screen as well, including the buttons. And in a matter of seconds, it's beginning to look like my own. And on the left hand side here, there's loads of analytical and marketing tools as well. So when you need a website, click the link in the description box below or go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, use code Matt Armstrong and that's gonna get you 10% of your first website or domain name. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's running. Back to Wheelmania. Okay, the new wheels are on the RS5. This was Hannah's choice, so if any of you dislike them, roast Hannah, not me. I think they look really good. Again, black on black. Let's see what you guys think. Okay, so the RS5 was clean before we got it. It's now absolutely filthy and salty from the English weather, but that fitment is absolutely perfect. 20 inch wheels, the front, the front and the rear are exactly the same, so the fitment is spot on. We've got enough clearance for full lock. We've got enough clearance on the rear as well. That fitment is perfect. Let me know what you guys think of black on black in the comment section below. Your car, your wheels, what do you think? I think I was right. <laughs> you was right. Rate out of 10. Wheelmania have smashed it again. There's a link as always in the description box below. Let's carry on with the Lambo. We are so close yet so far away from finishing the Lamborghini. Next thing we need to wrap is the boot lid, which means removing the rear spoiler. There's a bunch of bolts underneath, but as this is aftermarket and we already fitted it before, we know exactly how it comes off. When it comes off, we just need a final wipe down, make sure it's spotless. And then this time, Liam helped me lay down the one piece of wrap which goes over the boot lid. Now this boot lid was harder than it looked. There's a lot of crevices, kinks, curves and creases that are on the boot lid, which are quite difficult to get to. Then of course, once it's wrapped, it's the case of putting the orange stripe dead straight down the middle. Once the boot lid was done, I could remove the Lamborghini badge on the back, so then I could wrap the final piece on the rear. With that wrapped, I can put the wing mirrors back in place, which means I can then put the door card and the speakers back together. I am this close now to finishing the Lamborghini. My voice has gone. My sense of time has gone late nights, early mornings to get this thing finished. I cannot wait to get it on the road, but there is a few more things left. Yes, I've seen in the last video, a lot of you were triggered about me not having the rear bumper on. Look, I like it with no rear bumper, but I'm willing to compromise. You see, when I take the Lamborghini to shows, all people want to do is walk around the back and take a photo of the turbos. And I don't blame them. That's exactly Exactly what I do and that is part of the reason why I wanted to leave the rear bumper off but then I remembered I live in England and it is wet and salty on the ground in winter time so I think I've came up with a way where we're gonna get the best of both worlds where you can see the turbos but also can have the rear bumper on and the arch linings in so all this turbo work is not gonna get caked up in salt Let's do it. Okay, this could turn out to be really good or a massive fail. And then I'm gonna place these LED lights which are found on eBay really cheap on the rear of the crash bar. Only two, I don't want it to be an overkill. These should light the turbos up in the right places behind the grill of the bumper. I'm actually gonna use the crash bar as the ground for the wires. And then for the positive cable, I'm gonna connect it straight off the registration plate lights. Okay, so the bumper's kind of on, but not fully on yet. We've still got the orange strap to put down, but the lights are wired in. Let's see if they work how they should. It's that one. Yes. So they are lighting up now. 
the turbos. That is looking sick. So the lights are widening off the registration plate lights, so they don't always have to be on. But I think at night, that is going to look so good. Check that out. Obviously, we've still got the grill to go in and everything else, but that is looking sick it's subtle i didn't want to have it too bright so it it just you can't look anywhere else but the turbos but that should look really good i hope those lights cope with the heat and finally the last thing to go in is the rear grill which is held in by about 100 bolts the rear arch line in as well both sides and then finally and this time i mean finally the wheels and of course the orange stripe on the rear bumper and finally, it's time to get the Lamborghini out and do a full reveal and actually drive it. I haven't drove it for so long. Let's show you the new, the newly styled Lamborghini Gallardo. God, there is literally like almost no words for this now. I'm, I'm being biased, but this is probably the best and craziest looking Lamborghini Gallardo probably in the world. Just look at the wrap now. It, uh, it's everything I ever imagined and some. It's literally my dream build. Let me know your favorite side, the black side or the white side. I'm gonna be honest, it's the black side. It's the dark side for me. It looks so stealthy on this right hand side. And the wheels just look so sick on both sides. The satin black side and then also the satin white side as well. The color, that bronze color just goes with everything. And that's not all, just check, check the rear check the rear these lights have absolutely topped it off so now you can see the turbos hidden behind the grill i think that looks so good <laughs> especially in this lighting now let me know in the comment section below what you think of the lamborghini Gallardo. maybe it's your taste maybe it's not but for me this is literally a dream build twin turbo Gallardo, half and half camera wrap and that is not it in celebration of finally finishing the lamborghini Gallardo. well it's not quite finished yet we still need more more power but we'll get there we have released two more collections to the matamstore.co.uk website number one the anti-karen hoodie check this out on the rear as well the anti-karen <laughs> For all the Karens out there, we made an anti-Karen hoodie. The link's in the description for these. These are oversized as well. And second off, if you've been watching Hannah's channel, then you know that we've been working closely with Slicks Car Care to develop like a detailing kit. Now, I'm always cleaning my cars before the videos and I spend an absolute fortune on car cleaning stuff. So it's only right that we make our own. But let's face it, what do I know about detailing? So I've teamed up with Slicks Car Care to develop some really good high quality products that I can use on all my cars and you guys can use as well with the link in the description box below of course so there we have it one finished well kind of finished lamborghini Gallardo. we're still reaching for that 1000 bhp mark but i'm sure you're going to see loads more of the lamborghini in future videos again thanks for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace out